Up next on Tiny Gaming News. Google to lay submarine cables in Cape Town, Namibia and Nigeria. Orlando Pirates esports player wins Ila Liga beat the best regional final. South Africa's first smartphone factory fails after just two years. MSI launches metaverse ready gaming laptops in South Africa. In international news, Sony acquires Bungie Studios for $3.6 billion. GTA 6 confirmed. And the headline story, China launches Artificial Sun, or did it? Listen until the end to find out. Tiny Game It's never game over. Hey Ta, how's it ninjas? You are listening to podcast number 3 of Tiny Gaming News, my bi-weekly podcast specializing in bite-sized gaming and tech news from Africa and the world. I'm your host Max Ntike aka The Tiny Gamer, recording from my hometown Pretoria, South Africa's beautiful capital city. Please kick back, relax and let my voice take you on a cyber trip for the next couple of minutes. Let's go! According to a Google media announcement this Wednesday, construction of Google's high-capacity Equiano submarine cable system will begin in Cape Town in June. Telcom, South Africa's oldest telecoms giant, is working with Google to open a station in Mount Bostrand, Cape Town, which will be the local nexus for the 150 terabits per second Equiano system. The Equiano cable will begin in Cape Town and stretch all the way to Portugal, but in between, we'll have stations in the remote island of St. Helena, Namibia, and Nigeria, respectively. Google's media announcement also said that the cable system will help create 180,000 jobs in South Africa between 2022 and 2025 and drive down internet prices in South Africa, Namibia and Nigeria by 16 to 21 percent in the same period while driving up internet penetration by 7 percent in South Africa and Nigeria and by 9 percent in Namibia. Orlando Pirates esports player Zaid April, aka Pirate Zaid, won $500 or 7,600 Rand approximately after winning the South African chapter of the international E La Liga Beat the Best online FIFA tournament on the 2nd of February. Orlando Pirates is one of South Africa and Africa's biggest and oldest soccer clubs. The club's esports division was proud to announce the Young Stars win on its Twitter account and that he stands a chance of winning another $500 if he can donor local FIFA YouTuber Meta Mike on a one-on-one matchup. The date for this matchup is still to be announced. Mara, the smartphone brand from Rwanda, has shut down its two-year-old factory in Durban, South Africa due to COVID-19 and lack of interest from South African consumers. After being opened and hyped up in 2019 by South African President Cyril Ramaphosa and receiving a 100 million rand or $6.7 million tax break from the government, the factory is now being auctioned to buyers from as far as India after Mara had invested nearly $50 million or 700 million rand. Taiwanese tech giant MicroStar International, or MSI, revealed its new lineup of state-of-the-art gaming laptops equipped with the latest 12th gen Intel Age series processors at a recent event held in Centurion, south of Pretoria. The new metaverse-ready laptops are equipped with Intel Core TMI7 or above processors, as well as NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 processors or above. Some of these laptops include the Rainbow Six Extraction Edition, which was developed in conjunction with the gaming studio Ubisoft, and the Creator Z17, which is the world's first 17-inch laptop to support Pentouch. These meta-ready machines are now available in South Africa and can be ordered using the affiliate links in the description or comment section of this podcast. International news coming up after this quick commercial break from Spider Media. Are you a social media influencer, event planner, or news agency looking for cheap but reliable film and photography production in South Africa? Look no further than Spider Media, a freelance content production company based in Pretoria founded by me in 2021 after freelancing over a decade in South Africa's cutthroat media landscape. For only 3,998 rand or 298 US dollars, my spiders can film and photograph at your social media shoot, live event, or news story for 3 hours and deliver the video and photos to you within 72 hours or 10% money back guaranteed. Please visit my website spidermedia.web.za that is spider spelled S-P-Y-D-R to hire one of my reliable spiders and if they fail to deliver the content before the greed upon deadline I will personally reimburse you with 10% money back. 
Tag our web on spidermedia.web.za. Remember, spider spelt S-P-Y-D-R. Or click on the Spider Media WhatsApp business link in the description or comments of this podcast for world-class, reliable, cheap media content, fast. What the- In international news, Sony PlayStation president Jim Ryan recently announced that PlayStation will acquire independent American gaming studio Bungie for $3.6 billion or 55 billion rand. Bungie is well known for being the original developers of Xbox's best exclusive, Halo, before they parted ways with Microsoft in 2010, and for designing Destiny, a popular online first-person shooter available on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC respectively. According to Pete Parsons, Bungie CEO, fans can rest assured that the acquisition will not affect Destiny's availability on existing platforms and Bungie will still maintain full creative control and publishing independence of the Destiny franchise. It's official, Rockstar Games has confirmed Grand Theft Auto 6 is under development. The announcement was released on the Rockstar website and it said, quote, We are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series is well underway. We look forward to sharing more as soon as we are ready, so please stay tuned to the Rockstar Newswire for official details. End quote. PCGamer.com estimates that the game could come out as early as April 2023 or as late as March 2024, with the PC versions coming out even later than that. Finally, our headline news, a video showing China apparently launching its own sign into the sky has been debunked as nothing more but a rocket launch. According to statesmen.com, the fake sun being filmed by people on a beach as it rises towards the sky from the ground is actually a rocket launch from the Wencheng Space Launch Center. This can be confirmed by an English translation from one of the Chinese people filming on the beach as he says, quote, the rocket launch site, let us witness the great power of China's aerospace, end quote. However, China does have something called an artificial sun. It's a nuclear fusion reactor, officially named the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokmak, or EAST, which is five times hotter than the sun. This soundbite from the Independent UK explains. This is what's being called China's man-made sun. It's an experimental advanced superconducting tokamak, or EAST. And the scientists who are currently working on the machine have set yet another world record for the longest continual operation of the device. They ran the machine for a strenuous 1,056 seconds, sustaining temperatures of 126,032 degrees Fahrenheit for that time. That's impressive even by our sun standard, which at its core burns at around 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Their previous best was a sustained burn that lasted for 100 in one second. But while that was a shorter burn, it was a much hotter one. Their first record reached peak temperatures of 216,032 degrees Fahrenheit. This process is all in the hopes that someday very soon, we'll be able to sustain nuclear fusion like that of the sun, a process scientists have been edging towards for decades. And that, my ninjas, wraps up episode 3 of 20 Gaming Podcast. You know what they say, third time is a charm, right? If you enjoyed this episode, please show your appreciation by liking, subscribing, and following 20 Gaming on all our social media accounts, or click in the MSI and Spider Media links provided. Otherwise, how do you think the Equiano submarine cables will benefit gamers in Africa? And were you also fooled into believing China actually launched a fake sun into space? Please let me know in the comments. Until Podcast 4, coming end of February, it's never game over.